Sunshine is a self-hosted game streaming server which allows you to stream your computer's desktop to any of your devices. It's extremely fast with minimal latency and it can be run on any computer. Today I'll be showing you how to set it up, connect with any device, and make it accessible from outside of your local network. So if this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's start the video. Sunshine can run on any operating system, but if you're going to be playing games, you're probably going to be using Windows. Linux can run most Windows games with the compatibility layer Wine, but some anti-cheats just detect the users on Linux and just doesn't let them play. So that's why I'll be showing you how to do this on Windows. The client device we stream to can be running any operating system though. The client software is called Moonlight and it is available on basically every operating system. You can connect from your computers, phones, and even TVs. If your gaming computer's monitor won't be on at all times, or if you won't even have a monitor connected at all like me, you will need to install a driver that adds a virtual display which basically acts like a monitor. Sunshine needs a display to stream, and we can use the virtual display to do just that. I will link the video by the person who developed it, and he shows how to install it. It's just a 4 minute video and it's really easy to follow. And if you will have an actual monitor connected sometimes, it might be a good idea to mirror your actual monitor and the virtual monitor. So when you are using the computer, and move the mouse to the end of the screen, it won't move to a hidden display. So to install Sunshine, you're going to need access to your gaming computer. You probably have your monitor and keyboard and mouse connected, but since I don't have anything connected to it, I'm just going to connect to it with my remote desktop client. And now on your computer, just open up any browser and then type Sunshine Download. It should be the first thing by Lizard Byte. And then scroll down and then click on releases. It should be over here. Now scroll past all of the pre-releases and then look at the latest one. Now scroll down a little bit and you should see all the assets. These are all the Linux versions of Sunshine, but we don't want that. We want the Windows installer. So click on show all 21 assets. And then we're going to want to download the Sunshine Windows installer.exe. Nothing else. And it might block the download, but go ahead and just allow it. Now I'm going to click open file. It's just a pretty normal installation. Just click next through everything. Now it says Sunshine has been installed and I'm just going to click finish. Now I'm going to open it from the Windows search. Now you might get a warning like this, but this is running locally on your computer. You won't need to worry about any of this. So I'm just going to continue to the page. Now over here, just make your own username and password. It can be anything. And go ahead and click login. It will then ask you for the username and password again to log in. Now this is the web dashboard. Now that we're done with installing Sunshine, just keep this page open and let's set up the client software. To download the client software Moonlight on whatever device you're going to play from, just go to the link in the description, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see all the files here. You click on the exe for Windows, there will be a DMG for uh, Mac OS. And on Linux you can get the app image, but I just stick with the flat pack from the software store. You can get it from the GNOME store, or you can just use the command in the description that is shown on screen right now. I'm just going to click install. But for whatever operating system you have, just download the file and then set it up. Now it is installed, so I'm going to open it up. Now over here, I'm going to first click on the settings to configure it. Now set your resolution and FPS to whatever you want. I'm going to do 1080. And it automatically set the bitrate to 20. That's what your bitrate should be for 1080p and 60fps, just around 20. VSync you can turn it on, but there might be some input delays, so I'm just going to turn that off. Then I wouldn't really recommend changing anything else. There's nothing really else to change. Now if we go back, we can see our computer here, and if you don't see it there, you can enter the computer manually with its IP address. And you can get that IP address by typing ipconfig in a terminal on Windows. So to pair with our gaming computer, just click on the computer that shows up. And now it will pop up with a screen like this with a code. So just remember this code, and then go to your gaming computer. So this is the dashboard of Sunshine. If you don't know how to get there, Make sure Sunshine is running, and then go to your browser and type https colon slash slash localhost colon 
4-7-9-9-0. And then you should see the Sunshine dashboard. Then go ahead and click on PIN. And then enter the PIN that shows up on your client device. Now if we go back, you won't see the lock sign anymore. You will be able to access the actual desktop. Now I'm going to close out of this remote desktop. Because it might interfere. And then I'll try accessing from my Linux computer. And now I see the lock screen, I'm going to just sign in. And now I have full access to the computer in 1080p with 60 frames per second. Also, if you need Moonlight to stop capturing your keyboard or mouse so you can access other windows, you can press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and Z, and then you can see your actual computer's mouse. And then you can go to any other window that you have. And if you want to quit, you can do Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and then Q. In the Sunshine dashboard, it is extremely easy to enable streaming over the internet. So what you need to do is click on configuration at the top, and then click on network. And then you're going to have to enable UPnP. And I already have this enabled, but it is disabled by default. And then once you click enabled, make sure you click save under here, and then click apply to restart the Sunshine server. But I'm not going to do that yet because it's going to kick me out of my session. And what this basically does is automatically sets up port forwarding in your router to accept all incoming requests for certain ports and then send them to your Sunshine server. And to access your Sunshine server when you are outside of your network, you're going to need the public IP address of your home network. And in Moonlight, we'll go to Moonlight and click on the plus icon with the computer. And then we'll put the public IP address over here. And to get your network's public IP address, go to any browser on a device that is on your network and make sure it is on the same network as your gaming computer. Go to something like showmyip.com and then look at your IPv4 address. This is the public IP address that all the devices on your network share. And then this is what you'll use to access your Sunshine server. Because with the port forwarding rules that Sunshine has set, your router will know to forward all of those requests to the Sunshine server. But if you've enabled UPnP and it still doesn't work, then you might need to manually set these port forwarding rules in your router. Setting up port forwarding in your router is not that complicated. And if you're going to do that, make sure you disable UPnP and then save and apply again over here. For whatever router you have, search up how to port forward for that specific router. The router's address on my network is 192.168.1.1. And it'll say my connection is in private, but this is just on my home network, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to continue anyways and put in my network password. Now I'm going to go to the advanced settings because port forwarding isn't there on the basic settings. Now the port forwarding option will be under the security and firewall settings. Remember this is different for each router. So I'm going to click on port forwarding. And here we can create our port forwarding rules. So for the port forwarding rule we'll just name the application Sunshine. And if you don't know what original port and forward to port means, the original port is what port the router receives the request on. And forward to port is what port the router will send the request to, to the Sunshine server. Now if that did not make any sense to you, I have a video on port forwarding if you want to watch that, but it's not really needed. You can just put the same port for both of these. So these are all the ports that you need to port forward on screen right now. And for TCP and UDP, you click on the protocol to select that. And for example, if we want to access the, the web UI from outside of our network, this is what we would port forward. Just put the same number in both. And then we'll select TCP. The address we need to port forward to is the address of the Sunshine server. So to do that, go to a command prompt on your gaming computer, and then type ipconfig. And then over here, you should see your IPv4 address, and it should be something like this, a 192.168, or like a 10.0.0, or something like that. Now I'm just going to look for that address in the list of addresses, and I found it right here. It's 192.168.1.185. Now this is my local address. And then we're going to need to forward every port to this computer, which is my gaming computer. Then we'll add it to the list, and then we can apply changes once we've port forwarded everything. So that is how you port forward with the Verizon router. But for whatever router you have, just search up how to do it, and then port forward the ports that are on screen. So that is how you set up Moonlight and Sunshine to stream games to any device. If this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you run into any issues, just leave them in the comments down below, and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.